If you need to go 12 and 0, complete domination, Evo cards, and other grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. If you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K21 MT, go contact safembamt.com and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K21, my team. In this video, I've I have created a list of the top 10 budget cards that I think are best in NBA 2K21. My team are going to go through this list. We have cards that are really cheap and really good. Point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, center. A little bit of everything. So if you are a budget player and you're looking for a certain position on your squad, Hopefully this list will help you out. So make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel right now with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now to get it started. Now this list is depending on not only the type of card it is, but also the price you can get them for if that makes sense. So if there's a really good card and he's really cheap, that's gonna bring it higher up in the list. If he's not that good, got a little bit of price to him, then he's gonna, that's gonna drop him down a bit. If that makes sort of sense, you'll understand as we go through this list. Now, before we get into the top 10, I have three special mention cards that I wanna add that didn't make it to the top 10. This is basically my top 10 list, mixed with some of your guys' top 10, who I asked, I asked you guys on Twitter, who do you think the best budget card is? And I got some answers, some of those have been added in, some have not been. But special mention, we have Kyle Korver, Ruby Kyle Korver for 2000 MT, really cheap shooter. Uh, Steven Jackson for 4K MT, really good shooting slash slashing card. Um, and Amethyst Donovan Mitchell, who is 15K. So he gets a little bit pricey, that Donovan Mitchell, but he's a really good dunking card, slashing type guard card. So those are the special mentions, but we're gonna get into the top 10 list now. Coming in at number 10, we have Sapphire Kawhi Leonard. Now this is a pretty outdated card. He's a small forward that's a really good defending card, but the reason I wanted to add him into the list is because of how cheap he is. You can get him for 1K MT. I actually even saw one just recently for only 900 MT. So that is really cheap for a card that has got a bit of a mid-range, can take it inside, and also a really good defending card. Um, he's pretty solid, man. You see he's got a bit of shooting. You know, he's, he's definitely, obviously, these are budget-type cards. He's got a bit of dunking. He's sort of average around the whole thing. He's very, you know, can do a little bit of everything. Like, there's a lot of 70 stats, if that makes sense. Um, he's got 13 silver badges and 8 bronze. So he's a really good card for the price that you're paying for. For 900 MT to pick this card up, super cheap and a pretty solid card. Coming in at number nine, we have this Diamond DeMar DeRozan. Now this card is, you can get him for around 9K MT, which is a little bit pricey, but for the type of card he is, it's actually a pretty solid price. Because of My Team Festival, we got those packs where you could get DeMar DeRozan, Derek Coleman, and Tony Parker. It really dipped the value of those cards, of course, because you only had to spend tokens to get them. And DeMar DeRozan for a diamond, a shooting guard small forward is really good. Demar is a great dunking card. You see he has a driving layup of 93. He has a draw fail of 97, shot close 96. His mid-range is 95. Not much of a three-point shooter, but a 95 mid-range is really good, plus a 90 dunk on top of that. A um, little bit of speed as well. Seven Hall of Fame badges and 12 gold posterizer. He's got green machine, a green machine in the Hall of Fame. That's such a good badge to have in the Hall of Fame. So this card for 9K MT is, I think, a really solid pickup if you're a no money spent player. At number eight, we have this new Ruby Rex Chapman. Now Rex Chapman cards have been in 2K for a minute now, and he's always a really, really good shooting card. Now cards like this, they're not the best shot creating cards, but if you find this man open, he can definitely knock down the three ball with an 89 three point shot. Now cards like this really are just shooting type cards, but that is what majority of people look for when they want to pick up a card, is a card that can shoot the three. Rex Chapman has no Hall of Fame badges, but 27 goal badges. He has catch and shoot corner space, difficult shots. He's got posterizer as well. Circus threes, deep threes, which is range extender. Like this card, sniper as well, green machine. This card is a really nice shooting card. And a lot. I know a lot of you will agree with me that this is a really solid card. 
and you can only you can pick him up for as cheap as 1.5 thousand MT. So super cheap this card, and a lot of you guys on Twitter said that he is one of the best budget cards in the game. Next up we have Eric Gordon. Now Rex Chapman and Eric Gordon, you could really just switch them if you wanted to. Pretty much comes down to the jump shot because Eric Gordon, he might be a little bit better of a shot creator, but at the end of the day, pretty much the same type of thing. Just a card where if you find him open, you can pull the trigger and shoot it. This card sells for around 2K MT, and he is another great shooting card. You see his three-point stat is 93. He has a 92 driving layup on top of that as well, a 70 dunk. Um, he's got a 92 speed, 95 speed with ball, so he's... You could create shots with him. 14 Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot corner, special downhill. Uh, so he doesn't have, he's got Circus 3's, Deep 3's, Green Machine in the silver. So they're not gold, but I mean, still such a nice card for 2K MT. Again, you could put Rex Chapman above Eric Gordon, or you could keep Eric Gordon above Rex Chapman. It pretty much depends on your personal preference. He doesn't have those gold badges, but Rex Chapman has an 89-3, where this Eric Gordon has a 93-3, which is a really good three-point stat. And I've used this card a bit, and he's definitely really consistent from three and very easy to green his jump shot. Now we got another Ruby three-point shooting card right here, and that is Buddy Heald. I used this card a lot when he first came out, and the reason I have him above Rex Chapman and Eric Gordon is because of his shot creating. I find it a lot easier to create your own shots with a Buddy Heald card. I think it's just his animations, and he comes at just a low price of 2K MT, so he's really cheap. Um, and he's six foot four. He has a three-point shot of 86. He has a mid-range of 84. So his shooting is a bit more, you know, you can shoot from three, you can do the mid-range, he can drive inside with an 82. Um, he's a bit more, in my opinion, just easier to move around with. Like I just prefer, I just like his animations. He's got catch and shoot corner special. He's got sniper green machine in the gold. Don't know if he ha he has circus threes and deep threes in the bronze. But again, it, it does come down to personal preference. I like Buddy Heald's jump shot. I find it very easy to green as well. And his shot creating, I just think is better than Rex Chapman and Eric Gordon. But again, if you think Eric Gordon and Rex Chapman could be above this Buddy Heald, I would understand that. Uh, but just me personally, I like Buddy Heald, you know, his animations and being able to create your own shots with this card. Next up, we have the Emerald Lamello Ball. You can get Emerald Lamello Ball for 18,000 MT. So he is a little bit pricey and he's at number five on this list. And the reason he's at number five is because you can pick him up for 18K and flip it and get the diamond. Um, and if you want, you, if you wanted to sell him, you could sell him for over 50,000 MT. So not only is this card a really good point guard, that is also six foot seven, which is a pretty decent sized point guard. Um, not only is he good, but you can actually make money off this card as well in the future if you wanted to. Now the Emerald stats are not that good. He's just not because it's an emerald. But the fact that you can get him for 18K and move him all the way to a diamond, that makes this card much better, obviously, at a diamond. A little bit of a grind. People were getting it done pretty quick. As soon as this card came out, I think there was a diamond on the auction house within 18 to 20 hours. Not saying you should grind it straight, but within a week, you can definitely get this card to a diamond just playing offline game modes. He gets a driving lap of a 94. His three-point shot does stay kind of lower to 77, but if you know Lamelo's jump shot, it's pretty nice and you can definitely hit threes with it. He has a mid-range of 85. He has a shot close to 94. Decent in the post for the type of player that he is. Uh, he's got an 85 driving dunk as well. The speeds are at a 79. He gets five Hall of Fame badges and 23 gold. He's got fearless finisher, acrobat, pro touch, slithery finisher, needle threader, catch and shoot in the gold, posterizer, pogo stick, downhill, green machine, bullet passer. So the reason, again, that he is so high up in the list is not only is he a good card, but you can actually make around 30k MT as well if you buy him as an emerald and then resell him as a diamond card. Next up, we have the Amethyst Serge Ibaka, another new Amethyst card. Um, when I saw this card, I'm a big Serge Ibaka fan. I didn't think he'd be as good as he was, and he really is, and a lot of you guys agree with me on Twitter. Serge Ibaka is a 91 overall Amethyst. He's a new card. You can pick him up for 17,000 MT, which is pretty solid for a big man Amethyst card like this. He's really good. I've been playing with him a lot. 
Um, he's solid in the post, post fade 84, post hook 87. He's got a shot close in 92, mid range is a 91, and three point shot is an 85. So a big man that is very versatile like this that can defend, grab you some rebounds, and also hit the three ball as well. He has a driving dunk of 90, Serge Buck is a great dunker. He has a 97 block and a 90 interior defense. So clamp God, 91 offensive rebound, 90 defensive rebound. Um, let's check out the badges on this man real quick. He has only one Hall of Fame badge, which is low for an amethyst. He has rim protector. In the gold, he has catch and shoot corner special, which is huge if you want to shoot with a big man. Um, and just some defensive type badges right there, which is awesome. I really like this card. For the price that it is 17k, I think he's worth the pickup if you're looking for a good power forward slash center. Next up at the number three spot, final three going down right here, I have Amethyst Glen Rice at the number three spot. This car, you can get him for the low price of just 8,000 MT. Really cheap, and he can play that small forward and power forward. I would run him at a small forward, not power forward, but he is six foot seven, which is a solid height. He has a 92 three point, three point shot which is awesome, plus an 87 in the mid-range. He's got a 90 driving layup. Not much of a dunker, but I like this card because he can shoot, and he's a small forward that can shoot, and he's a really good price as well. One Hall of Fame badge being corner special. In the gold, he's got catch and shoot, difficult shots. Um, he has, what else we're we looking at? Volume shooter, circus threes and deep threes in the silver. Glenn Rice, I use this card a lot. When this card first came out, he had some challenges, and I got them done really easy really really easy to score with this card i like him he you can even call screens with this man find him for the three glenn rice is a solid pickup for 8000 mt next up on this list at the number two spot we have the ruby nick anderson this card came out with the flash three sets so still a relatively new card and he is so good for his price. He is only 1.6K MT, so hella cheap, and the stats are nice, man. He's six foot six. He has a three-point shot of 93. Mid-range is a 92. Driving lap goes to an 81. So he's a really good shooting card, and he's got 14 gold badges, catch and shoot, corner special, difficult shots, circus threes, deep threes. Does he have green machine? He's got in the silver. He's got sniper and green machine and clutch shooter in the silver. He has dead eye in the bronze as well. So with the badges that this card has, that is such a huge pickup for 1,600 MT. So freaking cheap, but such an amazing shooter. And at the number one spot for the best budget card in the game, I got to give it to this Diamond Jar Morant. Now, unfortunately, you cannot pick this card up on the auction, but he is in that locker code. So you can get this card for absolutely free. And that's pretty much what makes this card the best budget card in the game is because he is free and he's really good. Now, if you have not got this card, you missed out on getting him on the locker code. I wouldn't stress too much because I'm sure 2K are going to give us more chances at trying to get this Diamond Jar Morant. He's an amazing, for a free card, 2K do not normally hook us up with cards like this for free. So definitely hype when I was at, when I was able to get this card. Uh, yeah, he's a 92 overall. He can play point guard. 97 on offense. He has a... He's got a driving lab of a 96, shot close 88, mid-range 87, three-point shot 80, 88. Driving dunk is a 95, which is huge. Um, he's got some ball handling and passing in the high, in the high 80s. Um, he's got 92 in the speeds, four Hall of Fame badges, fearless finisher, teardropper, highlight film, and slithery finisher, plus 25 gold. Difficult shots, acrobat, ankle breaker, dimer, posterizer, Rhythm Shooter, Downhill, Deadeye, Green Machine, Bullet Passer, Floor General. So he doesn't have the, he's got Circus 3s in the bronze. He does not have Deep 3s and you cannot add it to him, unfortunately. But again, this Jar Morant takes the number one spot because he is a free card. But again, I'm sure 2K are gonna give us more chances at trying to get this card, whether they add him in the Triple Threat Offline Vault or another locker code. But that is gonna wrap up my top 10 list of the best budget cards in the game. I hope this video does help you out if you are chasing a budget card, whether you need a big man or a point guard or just a, a nice spot up shooting card like Rex Chapman, Buddy Heald, 
Glenn Rice or Eric Gordon, someone like that. I hope this video helps you out. Or Nick Anderson. Consider Nick Anderson, guys, because he's an absolute demon. But that is going to wrap up this video. So subscribe to the channel with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now. And I'll catch you guys all in the next upload. It's been witnessed.